Well, tonight, as the search for two escaped prison inmates continues in upstate New York, the prison employee charged with aiding in their plan to break out goes before a judge. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jill Perkins here now with more. Well, at her arraignment, Joyce Mitchell's attorney entered a not guilty plea on her behalf, and we're learning that fi the 51-year-old, who was a supervisor in the tailor shop at the prison, is believed to have provided tools like hacksaw blades, chisels, a punch, and a screwdriver bit to these convicted murderers, Richard Matt and David Sweat, allegedly aiding in their escape. It was last Saturday morning when Matt and Sweat broke out of Clinton Correctional Facility, a maximum security prison by cutting through steel walls and pipes, eventually surfacing through a manhole. If Mitchell is convicted, she faces up to eight years behind bars. This does not happen, and if you do it, you will be convicted, uh, and then you'll be on the other side of the prison that you've been policing, and that is not a pleasant place to be. The search for the escaped prisoners now in its eighth day. Authorities still have no confirmed sightings of the inmates. The judge has ordered that Mitchell be held on $220,000 bond. Mitchell remains at a county jail near, near Albany. She was moved there to avoid distractions as the search for Matt and Sweat continues. Follow me on Facebook or Twitter at Jill Perkins WKBW. I'll be posting updates on this developing story throughout the night. Jill Perkins, 7 Eyewitness News.